Welcome back to Snow Dogs Cooking, where if I can cook it, so can you. Today, we're gonna do one of those trending internet recipes, and today we are going to make Disneyland's magical grilled cheese sandwich, because who doesn't love grilled cheese? And you may notice behind me that there is a, I don't know if you can see it, there's some tomato soup on the stove. At the end of this video, I will link to our tomato soup recipe, because we're having tomato soup and Disneyland grilled cheese for dinner tonight. So let's get into the video. And of course, as always, I have my two beautiful kitchen helpers. Memphis is like, I am going to stay right here on this rug. And here is little Miss Kira. She says, wait, did you say cheese? Because I really like cheese. Do you like cheese? Yeah, we're going to yeah, make some grilled cheese. Don't worry, you'll both get to try something from this recipe. All right, let's get into it. So here is what we are going to need. You are going to need some artisan bread. I found sourdough artisan bread. There wasn't a lot to choose from, so I found this kind of sliced a little bit thick. So I'm making this for two people. This is going to be enough for two sandwiches. If you want more than that, double the recipe. So anyway, like I said, the artisan bread, four slices of provolone cheese. I did thin sliced four slices of cheddar cheese. Again, I did thin sliced about a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a quarter of a cup of cream cheese. I used whipped cream cheese because it's easier to work with. So I actually used a half a cup. So if you use black cream cheese, do like a quarter of a cup. Use whipped, do half a cup, and then a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise, a little bit of minced garlic, and a little bit of salt. And I almost forgot, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. So the first thing we're going to do is take the cream cheese, mix in some cheese. Yes, dogs, you will get some cheese in a moment. Add the heavy whipping cream. We could make whipped cream out of this stuff. And a dash of salt. Okay, two dashes of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Now we're going to mix all this together. So since this is a three cheese grilled cheese, this is going to end up being the cheese in the middle. So those of you that have been around for a while know how much Shelby loved shredded cheese. I think she passed down her love to this dog and this dog because just touching this bag, watch. They, are, they already know. Look at them. They're like, you're watching the bag of cheese. All right, I'll give you a little bit of cheese. Okay, ready? There's some for you, and there's some for you. You drooled on the floor, I saw it. Yep, those dogs like cheese. So in case you were wondering, this is the three cheese grilled cheese from Woody's Lunchbox at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's actually what we're replicating today. So there it is all mixed together. Now we're going to set that aside. Now to our mayonnaise, we are going to add just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit of minced garlic to the mayonnaise. And then two dashes of salt. We're going to stir all this together. So this is all mixed together. And believe it or not, this is actually what we're going to use instead of butter on the bread. I don't know if you guys have ever done any type of grilled sandwich with mayonnaise instead of butter, but it's really, really good. The dogs are like, wait, there is more cheese. We know there is more cheese. You're right. I saved you a piece of cheddar cheese. Good stuff? <laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's assemble this three cheese grilled cheese sandwich. So my bread's probably a little bit too small for this cheese because <laughs> you can see it kind of covers all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and break up these slices a little bit so they fit on here better. But all of that cheese is going on there. All right, that's a little bit better. We made it fit. So what I did was I broke the pieces and then I put them underneath. So all that cheese is still on there. Now we're going to take the cream cheese mixture and we're going to go ahead and put one layer of that right on the sandwich. Right, so we got a nice little layer. Again, my bread's a little smaller, so I didn't use as much of it as I probably could have. I probably used about a quarter of the total mix that I made for this size bread. Now we're going to flip. I wonder if I can do this with one hand. Can I do this? Flip this, oh I can, right over there and squishy it together. And now we're gonna put the mayonnaise mixture on the bread. Also, while all that is happening, I'm preheating my skillet. You can either do this on a flat top skillet or you can do it on a flat pan. You're gonna wanna cook these over a medium heat. So I'm letting this preheat to about medium. So just like you would butter it for a regular grilled sandwich, you put your mayonnaise mixture on top of it. I'm gonna flip this onto the grill and then butter the other side. I gotta wait for this to preheat though. That's why it's buzzing. Are you waiting ever so patiently for me to drop something else on the floor? Like, yeah, just drop some cheese. We would totally clean it up for you. I got it on there. We're gonna cook it on this side for about two to three minutes. Oh yeah, and while that's cooking, put the mayonnaise mixture on the other side of your bread. 
Ooh, so that's about what you want them to look like. If you like it a little crispier, make it a little crispier. Everything is starting to get really melty. <laughs> so you have to do two taste tests for me, Jamie. <laughs> Trying some uh, Disneyland inspired grilled cheese and then our normal tomato soup. <laughs> All right, don't burn yourself. I already did, so. Oh my lord. Maybe I should just cut, cut. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is some ooey gooey grilled cheese right there. <laughs> All right, so there is our Disneyland inspired three cheese grilled cheese sandwich. We each got one. Now, we're gonna see what we think. They look delicious. They're ooey and gooey and I am so ready to eat. It's a grilled three cheese sandwich. It has lots of cheese. Mm. Look at that. It's gonna be cheesy. It's gonna be cheesy. It's probably gonna be a little hot. Ooh. It's. Is it amazing? It's cheesy. It's... <laughs> it has provolone cheese and cheddar cheese and a bunch of other cheese. Right. You wanna try dipping it in your soup? I think it needs to be dipped in my soup. All right. If you guys wanna see his soup reaction, you have to go to the other video. <laughs> very cheesy that's a winning combination is it all right so if you end up making the the three cheese grilled cheese you got to make our tomato soup as well yeah. yeah yeah all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna eat my food now apparently memphis is like i would like to eat all of it too memphis you ate so much cheese while we were making this <laughs> it's very very cheesy it's very cheesy <laughs> so there you have it three cheese grilled cheese from disney do you guys want to see more videos like this? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you want to see us try to replicate? <laughs> this is this has been kind of fun. Maybe we should do the Disney churros next. Do you guys want to see us make churros? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you end up making this, don't forget to tag us on your social on our social media accounts. Use your social media accounts and tag us. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Side note: I totally burned my thumb while making this. And Jamie had to come in and save me. And it hurts. So I'm going to put the ice back on it. <laughs> Bye, guys.